And welcome back. So, uh, this is Wenu, and you're watching, well, playing along with um, me in Age of. Okay. Well, show me a book instead. Okay. Of Age of Engineering. And we are just starting off. As you can see, or you watched the last episode, oh yeah, you get eight. This is going to be yum yum yum. Uh, I don't know why I was trying to sort that out. Did not do much between episodes, literally. Rename or move the episode as I have multiple, have to have multiple directories now because of two videos. And I need more hard drive space for my main machine. So, put these away. Actual editions book can go in, and I wanted torches, didn't I? So, so need some torches to run around with. This will give me some green bread. Yum yum. Actual editions has pretty much became one of my favourite mod packs to play. Uh, the game developer has a great eye on how to do things, so I'm quite enjoying it. Except until a uh, you know, mod pack developer comes in and tells you need 50 million power to, you know, do something. Then you get upset. But as I said, I played this mod pack before and came out with some really good ways of doing stuff. So I will be showing you guys how I did it. So that's where I was digging. Since I have some coal. Ooh, there's another way out. Nope, not out, just up. So this should be some tin. And we'll snag this. I really should be doing <laughs> leveling that out, shouldn't I? Because I can't really do anything with any of these at the moment because I need a smeltery. So I haven't read ahead of the book, I just remember from what I was doing. And I dug out my stuff, didn't I? I'm an idiot. There we go. So, first things first is I'll need sand, gravel, and clay. And as you can see, I'm in a terrible spot for all of it. Oh, actually, sand, not sand. Sand's just over there. Clay, I'll need to find. So, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I am. And I'll need more sticks because I used mine make torches and I'll need shovel. Now let's dive in here and I think I see some clay from here. Look at that. I'm actually lucky. The only problem is is I need a lot of clay throughout this pack. So and I may be in some luck. I may actually get quite a bit out of here. So and up I go. Oh yeah, there's lots of clay. Oops, don't know what I'm doing. Now the trick is try and open up a little area like this. There we go, and dig from here. And still all this luscious, luscious clay. I actually found a nice big pit. So I did start off really well, didn't I? I got a town. And food, an alright area to start with. Now, let's quickly drown ourselves in the water. And let's quickly go up and get some air. Thank you. Now, here we go. Wonder how much clay I got. Come on, peoples. Let's have a look. I reckon I'm going to get about two and a half stacks. 
And if that is, I'll be set for a small, for a decent sized smeltery. And just over two and a half stacks. Look at that. Now, now I have to find gravel, which I didn't really look. There's probably more clay over here. Let's have a looky. There is too. Look at that. And gravel. Yeah. And sand. I wonder. I actually haven't even looked in the desert. And there's more water over here. So more sand. And and gravel too. So I think I'll just dig this gravel up. Uh, did I have any dirt on me? Uh, five pieces. Not enough. Okay, so let's and oops. Let's see. Ah, oh, I forgot to block this off. Actually, I'm using the wrong damn thing, aren't I? And it's nearly night time, but hopefully they won't want to attack me while down here. Why is that making a bubble? I think it might be here that I'm missing. And I'm going to kill myself because I trapped myself. Well done, Wayne. It's not making an air pocket there. Uh. Interesting. Maybe I needed one more across. That's okay. Zombies! Little zombies! Thank you. And kill the little zombies in water because it's the easiest way to kill them. They are slowed down. Probably could have dug out all that already without mm, piss farting around here, eh? There we go. And that's why. There we go. And then we go burn up all the oxygen. And, and gravel at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. Go away, water. Hey, got 
me a piece of gravel. Dig one piece up, more water comes along for a visit, and I'm using the wrong tool. Water's back. Why did I have to start that? This was more right just here. Oh, wasn't it? Ah, oh, it's gunpowder. See, this is what happens when you're in water. Slow, 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 slow. But sand is right there, so I might go run over here and have a look what's here. I know I've got cactus, which is going to be good, because I need cactus not fairly on, but I do need it eventually. There's some exposed ores. I wonder if there's any temples around that I can quickly steal stuff from. Probably not. Mm, bounce around. Let's have a looky. There's a bunny. And sand as far as I can see. So I'll just steal some sand on the way down. I think I might get a mob drop spawner up 
early because I would like to get creepers for their gunpowder. Um, but I'll need a few of the bits and pieces beforehand. Um, I think I might make a drop one. The only problem is collecting their drops. Uh, probably ought to make something can, to collect them up pretty quick. Uh, we'll find out. annoying me. And I'm back. Brother just dropped in to see what I was doing. I laugh at him. Don't tell him. Yep. Definitely need a shovel. Definitely need to get tinkers up and running. Still my coal, didn't I? Well done. Go down and get some more. Oh, teeny. Oops, missed that one. I started uh, another game way before with a bunch of friends and I had a slime island and I thought it would be amazing all the blue drops in the world well worst mistake ever there's lava down there too I didn't see that so yeah do not ever start underneath a slime island worst mistake The amount of slimes that dropped was just insane. Uh, now from memory there's hidden chest in these things. Mm -mm -mm. I was hoping to get some quick coal. We enter a mine shaft. Well, you look at that. Not very big, though. Sort you out. And yep, we fell into a mine shaft as well. What luck! Insanely good starting spot. Gravel. Lots and lots of gravel. Now, I might be able to show you a trick. Probably already know how to do this, but I do this. Um, what map was it? Um, it's the stranded on the crash landing. That's the one. 
Now, you had to dig up a lot of sand, right? And I worked a way around it. How you used to get so much sand in little effort. Now, I may get attacked. Don't know. Right, and I'll show you how I did it on this. Nice and easy. Right, but with the sand you had to be really, really quick. You ha have your shovel or whatnot next to it, and you quickly place your torch, bash this, whatever, bam, gravel. And that's how I did my crash landing episode of farming all the dusts. Ooh, that one was a little bit... one more deeper than I didn't saw. And... used to see people make these long trenches and all this other crap, and I used to yell at them and laugh and be like, you should do it this way, fellas, and... yeah. You had to be quick with the uh, mouse wheel to change or buttons, However you wanted to see it. And you quickly change over. Cool, some quartz there. And you were, you know, used to dig down 64. I never really went down the bedrock, it was too far. But I'm assuming if you went down to the bedrock you could have made it a little bit easier. So I've got some railway there if I need it. All coal there. I think, oh there's some coal there. So I did seem to have started in a really good spot, like really, really good. Some parkour, the most easiest parkour jump, except that one, which and way out. Probably night time when I get up there, so it is. Let's see if I can run to my bed and sleep quick and they might hear you. And I'm back. Now I know I'm meant to be following the guide, but I don't want to. Um, well, I probably will. Really? I will in the future, but at the moment I don't really need to. And if you're going to keep doing that, um, villagers, I will take that door off of you. So let's just fill this up. I forgot to equip my face. I actually wanted some of that uh, and you need quite a bit of clay in this pack um, actually I'll do another two because I know I'll end up using all three so and you go in there in there. I know I probably didn't need to use that much, but it does one rotation, or one unit per thing, so I need more gravel. That can go in. So now we're cooking, that last one can be for spare. Actually, I probably will need more wood. Oops, not that one. I'll grab two. And I will start actually auto doing your trees. I know I need redstone, which shouldn't be too hard to get, but we need to go into progressive automation because you get one of these up, even if it's a wooden one. It may be slow, but it is really good. And you only, you only need one. And you need to do one tree in front of it and then wait till it grows. Now, to these you need redstone and then you need to be in this and blah, da da. But you can be lucky and find them in chests. And we actually have a mine down there. So, yeah. I haven't fully destroyed or discovered all of the um, town behind me. So, I may be able to find one in there. Um, 
But yeah, down in the mine tracks, hopefully in the mine I might be able to find a couple of chests that have some. So, but all you need is to get one of them up. You can make two um, if you wish. Um, and then you just have them separate because you will want two in the future anyway because you want one for wubba trees and the other one for just your normal trees so and then you're pretty much set so it's fine making two basic ones and that will give you two trees and all you need to do is stock it with um, just your basic wood but only when it needs to be cut down or it will constantly burn your wood and you don't want that and it's kind of a, like a little, not of a, not not more of a cheap, more of a life, life hack, really. So I'll make one now because, well, I need it. Um, it's really good to get your rubber trees up and early because you actually need quite a few damn rubber trees too. So because IC two is pretty much your first thing that you get into. Hopefully I'll be able to get some saplings here. So it's not the wooden miner that you wanted anyway, sorry, it's the wooden chopper, which is exactly the same just with a wooden axe. I thought I saw a sapling, I did. There we go, we got a couple of saplings out of that. So let's quickly make one of these. They are easy as to make. So a wooden chopper, chest, and one of these. So you want two of them. And then. Beautiful. And two chests. Which I happen to have. Oh, I need more planks of wood. Don't have enough, that's fine. So what you do, you plant this bad boy. Uh, plant it just here for now, you need some distance. Now, he will chop from... Actually, I think... Oh yeah, he will. And then you and you need an axe in there. And there you go. He will always plant to the west. So if I'm facing this way, which I can't remember, yeah, east. Sorry, east. That way, not west. It's always east. Is the first plot. So he'll sit there and be happy. Now you don't need. I don't want to use that axe, but you whack that in there. And he won't run just as yet. So this tree will eventually grow. Then you give him what he needs to run and you do it that way. And did I pick up any bones by any chance? I don't know. Let's just plant some saplings anyway. One, two, three, four, five, that'll do. And one, two, three, four, five. So this will actually give you a little bit of a head start until you can make it bigger but you don't fill it with wood um, I used to do that and I used to always end up burning so much wood because it was just sitting there um, mouse wool doesn't work in that window yeah I don't have any bone mules or bones to turn into bone mules that's okay So all we need is some more wood which I could probably go get, but eh. Anyway, it is the wrapping up point in time. It is my bedtime. It is 12 a.m. and I need to be up in eight hours for getting ready to work. So I will probably get this out in the next couple of days. Um, I don't know exactly when, but it's a start. I'll probably be switching between both of them, record a couple of hours, the next day record another hours in the other Minecraft, but I really enjoy the starting off part of Minecraft and automating all the basic stuff, but getting into the really end stuff, 
is fun but more tedious and I prefer the fun of starting a mod pack and getting to the point where you are producing everything that is required to finish the map. I'll probably end up filling all this in later here. I'll help you out. Here you go, dude. You gonna get out now? Come on. How you get? Come on. If you... There you go. So... Yes, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, give me a like, a thumbs up. Uh, pass a link to your friends. Give it to your mum. She'll enjoy it too. Um, she probably wouldn't have a clue what Minecraft is, and if she does, then she's awesome. So, yeah. There we go. A nice little start. This will give me a nice little boost once it actually grows. So, yeah, it'll be really good to see. This is actually on a server, so it'll probably stay running, so things will grow, things will die, and I'll probably log in and I'll die. Hey, that rhymed. But I'll jump over here into this house, and I'll stay here. It's a nice tour. Oh, look at that, straight into a chest, the bee chest. So, oh, we got a bee smoker, awesome. And, no, no good, no good wood. But this is where I'm going to live. So, laters, have fun.